Yo, welcome back to the channel. Big up yourselves, big up the new subscribers, big up the old subscribers, big up my members, big up everybody. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the content. Um, yeah, that's all. Don't forget to press subscribe if you haven't already, big up yourselves. In today's video, we have done an EICR the other day, which has come up with a few faults. So there's an open ring circuit, non-IP lights in the bathroom, what else, a couple of damaged sockets, an outside light that needs replacing because there's twin and earth on show, all that jazz. But basically, I'm going to go through the faults with you and see what we're doing to rectify them. I've got to change the fuse board as well, so I'm gonna get that changed first. You don't need to see that. I'll show it you when it's done. Uh, and then we'll go around fault finding and hopefully we can rectify them. Big up and run that thing. We're in, all the tools are in, let's get cracking. So, board that we're changing is up here. We've got no RCD protection on any of the lighting. We've got metal fittings, metal light switches, all that jazz. So this is going to be ripped out. It's not a big board. We're putting a 10 wire fuse box in, RCBOs, SPD, all of that ting. We've also got to fit a KMF outside on the mains because it's way over three meters. So that is that. Faults. The existing socket circuit are in here, in there, also in the bedrooms upstairs. There's a new socket circuit being wired, that's fine, which is the new kitchen that they've had put in. So that one's fine, we shouldn't have to touch that. So bathroom, these are the lights that are in, they're just pendants. So what I'm gonna do is blank that one off and get rid of it, change this one to a Saxby Hero light, and then change the switch outside to a one gang switch and just get rid of that one entirely. Socket wise, we've got a damaged socket there, that's trunked round to another socket. In this little cupboard here, if we can get in and show you, it's probably quite dark. Ooh, nah, you've got no chance. Behind that bag, basically, I'll show you in a minute, but there is an old socket that's not on the wall or anything. Customers just asked us to disconnect, so we'll put that in a Wago box, and yeah, make safe. There's a few pendants that need changing because the flex is on show, and they are quite old. In here, that needs a new, um, oh no, that one's all right, to be fair. Might need a new socket though. I just screwed them back, uh, but I've got to whip them all back off anyway. In that one, there's a bit of 1.5 going somewhere. I've got to disconnect that, make that dead. Um, that socket was radialed off from here. So I'm gonna check the other sockets first, but then I might have to cut this back out because they might have only connected on to one leg of the ring and left the other. Hopefully that's the case anyway. I'm gonna crack on with the board change, get that done and then show you when it's finished and then we'll start going around with the faults. Board's done, all talked up, ready to go. I will have to still take the rings out to test them again. Uh, yeah, nice. Next job, these dimmers do kitchen, kitchen, kitchen and then that is the outside light that was existing that we've got to change. So what I'm gonna to have to do with that is switch it over for a dummy dimmer. So basically, let me focus it in, come on. There we go. So it's just on off, so it looks like a dimmer. It fits in there, and that way, the four dimmers look the same, but the right one will only do on off, it won't dim. So we'll get that swapped, and then this is the light that we're changing. As you can see, it's full of water, it's loose, and there's one five trailing out the wall. So what we'll do, Put a whisker box on there, straight down, and fit a JCC floodlight with a PIR. So the old dimmer's out now, and we've switched it over for a dummy. So as you can see from the front, it looks exactly the same once the cover's gone on, once I've screwed it back, but it's a dummy. It literally just does on and off. There we are, look, once it's screwed back. So dimmer, 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 and then that one's solid. Literally just push on and off. Now we can change the outside light. There's nowhere to put my camera outside. I've cut the old light off, which is ugh, here. Ugh, look at that. Nice. Yeah, that's cut off. And then what I'm gonna be fitting is come back entry into this whisker box. 
Look at that, comes with a little wire, guys, nice. Back entry of that, flex into the bottom, and then we will be fitting JCC's new night flood. So it's a little 10 watt, 10 watt flood with a PIR. I don't know what was wrong with the old floods, but they've changed them. So this is the new flood light that we're fitting. Very nice looking. I think there should be an R there though, JRC. Nice. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be fitting. We'll adjust the sensor, everything halfway, like we always do. And that will then, on the wall, flex up into the bottom of the whisker box. Bish, bash, bosh, we are here. I'll get that fitted then, shall I? That's another job off the list. Lovely looking light as well, that. Huh? I've put the whisker box just above, so it hides it a little bit. But yeah, it's nice looking, better than that old one anyway. Another job off the list. The next job on the hit list is the bathroom lights. So, like I said before, we're gonna disconnect the back one, and then the centre one, we're gonna be putting one of these up, which is a Saxby Hero light. So you can change the colour of these, change the brightness. You've seen them a few times on the channel, but I should be able to record this bit. So, we'll get up there, get the one light disconnected, and then sort out what we're gonna do. So, these lights, obviously, non IP rated, straight above the bath, I can touch it from the floor, so we're removing them. That one at the back, we're getting rid of that completely, so that'll be in a Wago box, chucked up in the ceiling if we can, uh, or disconnected from this light, whichever or really. This one, we're gonna be putting the Hero light up, so we'll whip these down, and obviously the switch outside's gotta be changed from a two gang to a one gang. Whip these down now and see what we're messing with. In this first light fitting then, we have got single neutral, single live with an earth, and a neutral that the earth and live's been cut out of. So I haven't took the switch off yet, but what I'm thinking is, the live's fed from the switch, so that's our one switch live. Single neutral will be the end, and this one has just been added on over to there. I'm hoping. If it is, we can leave it disconnected and disconnect the live in the switch, and that'll get rid of all those cables without putting a joint in. It's not what I thought, so it's not going to be as easy as we thought. So in here, we've got permanent lives. Not sure what that is, that's a blue onto um, a red. And then a yellow is your switch life, so there must be a three core inside the switch. So we'll have a permanent life coming down. Not sure what that is. And then our yellow they've used as the switch wire. And then there's two neutrals. So we'll take the switch off and see what's there. So yeah, it's exactly what I thought. So. The red, obviously, is our permanent live. Then they've used a the yellow as one of the switch wires and a blue as the other. So that blue that was linked to the red in there is the red that comes over. So what I'm gonna have to do now, take those down, see what we can salvage out of there. Oversleeve the blue, we can get rid of the yellow and then leave all the permanent lives, all the neutrals linked. And then that will give us power here. We'll just have to put that in a Wago box, like we first said. I've joined what needs to be joined, got it up in the ceiling, pulled a bit of slack down on the light that we're going to be changing, and in the switch I have disconnected the yellow, which was the switch wire over to that fitting. I've put a wago on the other end just in case. This one I'll just leave cold up. And then we've got our permanent lot. I have got a sleeve that. I'm going to get some sleeving out of the van, park miles away. Put some sleeving on that, and then we've got to put our new light on here. So. Red's our switch wire because it's joint over there. Neutral, neutral, earth. And then they're being connected into this light. So just needs a little twist and it drops the tray off. We've got permanent live, switch live, earth, neutral. I think this is for an emergency pack or something. I'm not entirely sure, but here is the little buttons that we've got to change things. So wattage on the top there. We've got 18 watt, 14 watt, nine watt and the colour at the bottom, 3K, 4K, 6K. So we'll get this chucked up on the roof, shut it, and then put the lid on. Just to show you, I did sleeve it. Little trolls. <laughs> I'm not sure what I showed you. This is on now, everything else is on. I'm going round now, I've replaced that socket and patches there that was broken. I 
I've took that one off, that's just a ride deal. Uh, what else? That room's fine. We've got a socket that is back entry off there, which is fine. And all the ring seems to be connected. In here is where I was gonna show you that. Oh, hold on. Hold your horses. So in here, we've got, oh, can you see that, yeah? Three cables, so we've got the ring in and then a ride deal off. It's all connected, but what I'm gonna do is put it in a wagger box and just tuck it down under the floor there. There's a big, big void to the side. So that is that. Then we move up to the top floor. I can't seem to get this light on. Can you see it? Yeah, I can't seem to get the light on. Um, tried a couple of bulbs, no power, so I will be testing that. In here, we've got the ring and then a 1.5 dogged in, which looks like it could be for a light in there, but all I'm gonna do is just disconnect it. Obviously that can't stay. If something else goes off, I'll put a spur next to it and feed it into the spur off there. Now this one is where the suspect is. Very sus. Nice of uh, sleeving there, bit of tape. So I've got to sleeve that up. Basically that comes round and then through into the wall and up to where that socket was. Now I've given this a pull and it is loose in there and you can feel just when a connector starts to come close. So I think what I'm gonna do, rather than cut that back out because there might be battens and things behind, I'm just gonna drill a downlight hole there so that I can get in, get my hand in and see what's connected because the start of that socket with the sleeve in, it's not giving me much hope for this. Hopefully it is here and we can reconnect the ring up, test it, everything's fine, but it's just a process of elimination before I start stripping everything down and belling all the legs out. But I do think that's a bit sus, so hopefully it's beyond there. So we covered the floor. Pray for me. Of course there's a joist there, of course there is. Why well, would I think there's not? Found the connectors though, at least. So, what we got here then? Ew. Ew. There is only one leg though, which isn't good. This joint now, I'm gonna to have to just weigh go, put it in a box, push it back in, I think. That is all I can do, really, without smashing anything up. So it looks like that runs over to that socket there where we've got three legs in. So this could be the radial off from the ring there. It might not. What I'm gonna do is strip that socket down now, get rid of the one five, that, could be feeding the lights up here. Never thought of that. That might be why they're off. We'll have a look. So, I took this light switch off, all the conductors came out, and that one's back on. I also went into this room, so that one's on now, look. I think the same has happened in there. So I'll whip that off now, and that'll sort the light in. Also, they are on with that 1.5 disconnected, so that obviously wasn't that, which is nice to know. I've recut and joint them, fixed the sockets back, tightened everything up, everywhere, tightened it all up. Any sockets that needed changing, I've changed. Reconnected this so that we've got all the lights back on. Nice. Everything else is done. Uh, downstairs now, I have disconnected this socket here, which was 1.5, and it just came up through the floor here, and it was connected where that um, joint is, underneath the uh, cupboard in here. Replaced that, reconnected that. Nothing around there, just that joint. I've got a Wago box. I'll screw this socket back in here. I think this room's fine to be fair, yeah. There's just a socket there and then this one back to back off the hallway. 
reconnected all this. Um, yeah, we'll check the ring downstairs now and just see where we are because a lot of them were loose connections. Right. Closest socket to the board, really. Without taking them back out the RCBOs, but I will take them out once we can uh, test it. Two. 0 0.39, 0 0.39. We've got to split the earths up because they're still oversleeved. I've been stripping them as I've been going around. But it looks like it must have just been a loose connection because I had no ring reading on anything. <sighs> Hopefully that's it sorted. I'll get the rest of the sockets put on now and then take the readings from the board. I'll run around, take a couple of ZSs. If they match up with what we had previously, um, I'll just copy the certificate over onto the new installation certificate rather than the ICR. It's all been stripped, it's all been sleeved, and we've got continuity across all conductors. Nice. That's all done now. Thankfully, we found the fault fairly easily. I was hoping there'd be a bit more um, to the video, but we move. Yeah, I've just got to get the cover on, get it all labelled up. So once I've leveled the board up, it just leaves the test certificate. So the test certificate I'm going to be filling in is on Tradify, which is the sponsor of today's video. Big up Tradify, thank you very much. If you don't know what Tradify is, it's our business management app that we use to run our business. So it's customer databases, it's quoting, it's invoicing, it's getting paid, and it's keeping track of all of it in one app. You can also fill out certificates, which is what I'm going to be doing here. I have done videos on this previously, so if you want to see that, check out another video and I'll run you through all the stages of filling it out with Tradify. If you haven't checked Tradify out before, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get a free 14-day trial. No card details, no registration, no nothing. Just give it a go, see what you think. It's changed our business massively with saving time, saving everything really. It saves a lot of time. Obviously, your paper trail is a lot less so it's all condensed into one app and it's all fully traceable via the app. You can see when people have opened quotes, invoices, all that jazz. So yeah, check it out in the description. If you like it, use code JLC50 for 50% off your first three months. Well, I'm back at home now. What time is it? Quarter to four. That's not bad. Got the board changed, sorted all the faults out, sorted all the remedials out. I was hoping the fault would be a bit... Um, Harder to be fair, it still took a while obviously stripping all the sockets back and checking the connections but thank god it was something like that and not a cable damage because that is the worst. But yeah, big up yourselves if you've got this far into the video, I do appreciate every single one of you. If you can leave a like and leave a little comment, let me know what you think, say hello, swear at me, I'm not really bothered as long as you leave a comment. Big up yourselves. Big up Tradify for sponsoring the video as well. Like I said, just if you haven't checked it out, it's well worth a go just for the 14 day trial alone. But you will love it, like I do. It's awesome. So check that out. The link in the description. Use code JLC50, 50% off your first three months. Big up everybody once again. Big up all my members. Big up all my subscribers. That's my son and his mate walking past the door. Nice. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Actually, see you later, sirrah.